When Pluto lost its status as a planet in 2006, much of the world quietly moved on. Once known as the ninth planet, it was suddenly labeled a dwarf planet, reduced, in the public imagination, to a frozen relic drifting at the edge of the solar system. To many, Pluto became little more than an icy leftover from planetary formation, distant, cold, and scientifically unimportant. That view is now collapsing. New observations, combined with data from advanced space telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope, are transforming Pluto from an afterthought into one of the most intriguing worlds we have ever studied. Far from being silent and lifeless, Pluto is revealing signs of complexity, motion, and hidden energy beneath its frozen surface. The images and measurements now available challenge nearly everything scientists once assumed. Pluto no longer looks like a dead world. It looks like a place with secrets. At the center of this mystery is Pluto's most recognizable feature, a massive, heart-shaped region known as Sputnik Planitia. This vast plain, made primarily of frozen nitrogen, is not only visually striking, it is geologically powerful. Its sheer size and mass appear to influence Pluto's rotation, almost as if the planet is slightly off balance. But what lies below this frozen heart may be even more astonishing. Beneath the thick ice, scientists suspect the presence of a subsurface ocean, a hidden layer of liquid water trapped under kilometers of frozen crust. This ocean may be kept warm by heat generated deep inside Pluto, produced by the slow decay of radioactive elements within its rocky core. Despite being billions of kilometers from the sun, this internal heat could be enough to prevent all the water from freezing solid. If true, Pluto is not a static ice ball. It is an evolving world. The implications are enormous. Liquid water is one of the fundamental ingredients for life as we understand it. Wherever water exists, even in extreme environments, the possibility of biology follows. Pluto's ocean, if real, would expand the list of places where life might exist far beyond the traditional, habitable zone. Supporting this idea are signs of ongoing geological activity. When NASA's New Horizons spacecraft flew past Pluto in 2015, it revealed a surface crisscrossed with fractures, ridges, and faults. These features are not consistent with a world that has been frozen and unchanged for billions of years. Instead, they suggest internal movement, ice shifting, crust stretching, and heat reshaping the surface from below. Adding to the complexity is Pluto's unusual relationship with its largest moon, Charon. Unlike most planet-moon systems, Pluto and Charon orbit a shared center of gravity located between them. This binary dance generates tidal forces that flex Pluto's interior, potentially producing additional heat and sustaining internal activity over long periods of time. These tidal interactions are still not fully understood but they may be critical to keeping Pluto's interior from freezing completely. Some scientists have taken the idea even further. They suggest that Pluto's hidden ocean could harbor microbial life, organisms adapted to darkness, extreme pressure, and bitter cold. Shielded from radiation and surface conditions by thick ice, such life would exist in isolation, evolving along paths entirely different from anything on Earth. The discovery of even simple life in such an environment would redefine biology and dramatically expand our understanding of where life can survive in the universe. Not all clues point towards something benign. Data from modern space telescopes has revealed unusual thermal patterns and chemical signatures beneath Pluto's surface. While these signals are not proof of life, some resemble processes associated with biological activity on Earth. The interpretations remain speculative, but they raise unsettling questions about what forms of chemistry, or life, might exist in such an alien environment. Pluto's origin story may help explain its hidden energy. Scientists believe it formed during the violent early years of the solar system, built through repeated collisions that generated intense heat. Over billions of years, radioactive decay could have preserved part of that heat 
keeping Pluto's interior active long after the surface froze. If this picture is correct, then Pluto has never truly been dormant. It was born in chaos, shaped by violent collisions during the early days of the solar system. Over time, it became sealed beneath layers of ice, locking its secrets away from easy view. And yet, beneath that frozen shell, Pluto has continued to change, quietly evolving in isolation, far from the warmth of the Sun. Even Pluto's atmosphere deepens the mystery. Though incredibly thin, it is anything but static. Composed primarily of nitrogen, with traces of methane and carbon monoxide, it behaves in ways scientists did not expect for such a small and distant world. When sunlight reaches Pluto, it interacts with these gases and triggers chemical reactions that produce complex organic molecules known as tholines. These molecules drift through the atmosphere, forming a reddish haze that settles onto the surface. Tholines are more than just pigments. On Earth, similar organic compounds are considered important stepping stones in prebiotic chemistry. They represent the kind of molecular complexity that can lead, under the right conditions, to the chemistry of life. Their presence on Pluto suggests that even in extreme cold and darkness, nature is capable of building complexity. Pluto does not exist alone in this story. Its largest moon, Charon, appears to share a deep and complicated history with its parent world. Charon's surface is scarred by enormous canyons and fractures, some stretching thousands of kilometers across. These features point to ancient tectonic activity, evidence that Charon, like Pluto, was once far more active than it appears today. At Charon's poles, scientists have observed strange reddish caps. One leading explanation is that gases escaping from Pluto's atmosphere drift across space and freeze onto Charon's surface, where sunlight transforms them into dark organic compounds. If this is true, then Pluto and Charon are not just gravitational partners. They are chemically connected, exchanging material across the vacuum of space. This intimate relationship suggests that changes on one world may influence the other. Together, Pluto and Charon form a system unlike anything else in the solar system, blurring the line between planet and moon. Pluto also stands apart from most objects in the Kuiper belt. This distant region beyond Neptune is filled with icy remnants left over from planetary formation, worlds that appear cold, inert, and largely unchanged for billions of years. Pluto defies that pattern. Its glaciers flow. Its surface reshapes. Its atmosphere cycles on and off as it moves along its elongated orbit. Heat persists where none was expected. It is an outlier in a region once believed to be frozen in time. And that raises a profound question. If Pluto can remain active for billions of years, what about other distant worlds? How many icy bodies beyond Neptune might also conceal subsurface oceans, chemical complexity, or hidden energy beneath their frozen exteriors? Pluto may not be unique, it may simply be the first example we were able to see clearly. The James Webb Space Telescope has opened a new chapter in Pluto's story. Its powerful instruments allow scientists to study Pluto's surface composition, atmospheric chemistry, and thermal behavior in unprecedented detail. But with every new observation comes a reminder of how much remains unknown. The New Horizons flyby in 2015 was historic, but it was brief. It gave us a snapshot, a single moment in a long and evolving history. To truly understand Pluto, future missions will need to do far more. They will need to orbit the dwarf planet, monitor seasonal changes, analyze its atmosphere over time, and search directly for evidence of the ocean that may lie hidden below the ice. There are even tantalizing hints, still unconfirmed, that Pluto could possess a weak magnetic field. If such a field exists, it could help protect Pluto's atmosphere and interior from solar radiation much like Earth's magnetic field shields our planet. 
This invisible force might also help explain some of the unusual heat patterns and geological features observed on Pluto's surface. Pluto's remote location exposes it to forces rarely considered in planetary science. Gravitational nudges from passing Kuiper belt objects, long-term interactions with Neptune, and even distant stellar encounters may have influenced its interior over time. These subtle but persistent forces could help keep Pluto active, preventing it from becoming the frozen fossil scientists once imagined. Once dismissed as cold and lifeless, Pluto is now a world filled with questions. Moving glaciers Strange chemistry. Possible oceans. Unexpected heat.